Today we're talking about CSS nesting, a new feature that helps us write cleaner and shorter CSS. Instead of repeating long selectors over and over, we can now place child styles directly inside the parent, kind of like SAS, but using pure CSS. Let's take a look at how it works. In the HTML, we have a div with the class card, and inside it there's an H2, a P tag, a button with the class BTN, and a span inside the paragraph. I already added some basic CSS, but at first the heading didn't look right. There was too much space above and below it. After fixing it, with normal CSS, the heading looked perfect. But when I moved the same code into the dot card block using CSS nesting, the heading style stopped working. To fix that, we need to use the ampersand instead of repeating the parent selector. As soon as we add the ampersand, the heading works again. The idea is simple. Instead of repeating the parent selector over and over, we nest the child selectors inside it. Now let's add another style to the H2, like font size, 30 pixels, and you'll see it works perfectly. Nested styles without the ampersand work fine for child elements. Next, we style the paragraph. Since the P tag is inside card, we nest it inside the card block. I change the text color and set the line height to 1.5, and you can see the update right away. This is what CSS nesting is all about, writing all child styles inside the parent block. Here, both the H2 and P styles live inside the card block. Now let's style the span tag inside the paragraph. I first added the span style inside the dot card block and gave it a background color to highlight the text, and it worked perfectly. But when I added another span outside the paragraph but still inside dot card, the highlight applied to both spans. Since I only want to style the span inside the paragraph, I moved the span style into the P block, and now the highlight shows up only where it should. Next, I styled the button. I already had some button styles. So I dropped that whole block inside dot card using nesting, and everything worked exactly the same. When I tried adding a hover effect, writing dot BTN colon hover inside the nested block didn't work, so I replaced the class name with the ampersand. That fixed it right away, and the hover effect worked perfectly. After that, I added transform, translate y minus 2 pixels, and that worked just fine too. When you write a hover selector without using ampersand, it doesn't work because the browser treats hover as a child selector instead of a hover state for the button. It reads it like button hover, which means an element inside the button that is hovered, which almost never happens. But when you use ampersand, it works because ampersand tells the browser to use the parent selector. The rule is simple. No ampersand for child elements. Use ampersand for states, pseudo classes, or when modifying the parent. You can also use ampersand for other states like dot active, and it works exactly the same way. Now let's write a media query using nesting. I add a at media max width 500 pixels block inside the dot card block, and since I want to style the parent element, I use ampersand to target the parent itself. Then I add the styles that should apply below 500 pixels, and you can see everything works perfectly when the card scales down. I also add another responsive style, and that works without any problems. All of these media queries are written right inside the parent element using CSS nesting. You can see this is CSS nesting. Everything is written inside one parent block. Now I have an H2 with two separate classes, text and heading, and a P that also uses the text class. First, I style the dot text class to change its color, and you can see all the text inside the card turns orange red, but I want the color to change only when the dot heading class is applied, so I add that style inside the dot text block. It doesn't work, even when I try using the ampersand. But when I remove the space between the ampersand and the class name, it works perfectly. That's because dot heading isn't a child of dot text. Both classes are on the same level. So to target the another class at the same level using CSS nesting, you write it like this, ampersand class name with no space.